You're someone who is passionate enough about coding and programming and thought that it's time to monetize your skills. Let's face it, programming is an important skill today. Knowing how to code can make you land high paying jobs at tech companies like Google and Microsoft. But that's not the only way to make money as a programmer. There are many ways to make money as a programmer that we'll go through in this video. So make sure to stick with me till the end. Please note that this is not a get rich quick video. I'm only offering tips and options to make money with coding. Remember, everything takes time and effort to succeed. The first and most obvious one is to get a job as a software engineer or a data scientist or a cybersecurity specialist. This is the traditional way. You have a skill you can offer, you apply to a job in a tech company, you prepare for the interview and you ace it. If they think that you're a good fit, they'll accept you. Otherwise, you'll keep on applying to different companies and jobs. But maybe you just don't want to get a job, or you have a job but you want to start something aside. Let us see what you can do. Create content online. You can create content on a specific platform like YouTube or Instagram, Facebook or TikTok or pretty much any platform that monetizes their creators. If you have knowledge about something and you would like to share, social media is a very good option. You can start a channel and offer coding tutorials or you can start a TikTok page and upload short form content that can be how to videos or short tutorials or news videos about the latest tech. How do you make money out of social media? Well, you need to sign up for their partnership program, and each platform has its own rules and specifications. Like to monetize a channel on YouTube, you need 1k subscribers and 4k hours of watch time. Then you can sign up to YouTube's partnership program. However, monetization on TikTok is completely different. You're required to have 10,000 followers and 100,000 content views in the last 30 days to apply for TikTok Creator Fund. But wait! That's not the only way to make money through social media. Once you have a large community, you can apply to affiliate marketing programs or sponsored ads or even create your own merch, for example. A bonus option, you can make money as a programmer writing blogs too. Some platforms like Medium actually monetizes their creators for writing blogs. You can write about new technologies, talk about your favorite programming language and how it is a valuable programming language in the job market, or talk about different jobs and which one has the highest salary. Remember, your blogs should offer value. Next, you can sell courses. For example, if you're a skilled front-end developer and you want to develop a course that teaches how to become a front-end developer, you'll include step-by-step -step videos about how to learn specific languages related to front-end and how to ace coding interviews. You can sell this course on platforms like Udemy or Skillshare. In these platforms, you can publish your own course for a specific price, and whoever is interested in learning your course will hopefully buy this course. Definitely, Udemy or Skillshare will take a small percentage of your profit, but it is way better than starting your own website and launching your course there, because these platforms already have traffic and visibility on them, so it is easier to find your courses. However, it is still better to promote your course on different social media platforms, or if you can advertise it using, for example, Google Ads, that will be great, because it drives more traffic to your course. Next, building apps. Maybe you're someone who likes to build apps, that could be mobile apps or desktop applications. If you have an idea about a perfect app that will fit the user's needs, then start developing it. It is really bad to have an idea and not develop the app. How to make money as an app developer? Well, you can sell the app for a specific price, or monthly subscriptions, or in-app purchases, or in-app advertisements. Next, freelancing. Freelancing is about being your own boss. You have a specific skill you can offer for the ones in need, like you're a web developer or an app developer and somebody is in need of your service, then you can offer them that service. The golden question here is how to find a client? Well, you can go on freelance platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. In these types of platform, they allow you to sign up as a client or a freelancer. In our case, it's going to be a freelancer. For example, on Fiverr, you sign up as a seller and expose your service, which is also called gig. Buyers, on the other hand, browse different gigs, and if they like a freelancer's gig and the price is fair to them, they will make a purchase. Note that Fiverr takes 20% of your profit. Another way or ways to find clients is through networking, advertisement using Google Ads or Facebook Ads, social media like LinkedIn, or you can search for job boards on GitHub Jobs or Stack Overflow. Create a SaaS 
Software as a Service is basically a software that is hosted and provided to the users over the internet, offering monthly subscriptions, rather than just being installed on their local computer. Consider it as a normal software, you need to design it, code it, and test it. What makes SaaS different from other software is where it is hosted. Instead of the user to download the software, they can use it online. To put your software online, you need a cloud infrastructure such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud Platforms. But in order to host that software, you need a website that acts as the interface of your SaaS. Like this, you can host your website that is holding your SaaS on cloud infrastructures like AWS or Microsoft Azure. Put in mind that creating SaaS is not easy. There's a lot of stuff you need to go through other than just building a software. You need to work on the backend of the software, how to accept billing and payments, maintain your software, and not to forget security and data protection. Speaking of SaaS, you can actually start a software company. Like this, you'll be able to start a business. Building a business or a company requires a plan. In this plan, you'll list out all the important tools and legal stuff you'll be needing for this business. Like, you can list what the software is going to be, how you'll build it, maybe not just you, a team of software engineers. You'll also create a marketing strategy in order to expose your software and determine the legal structure of your business. Starting a software company requires research and effort and also an effective plan is crucial to start a business. And there you have it, 6 ways you can make money with coding. Please make sure to offer your own thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I invite you to watch any of these end screens that will appear right now. See you in one of them.